GUI Operating System Desktop Management Graphical User Interface or GUI is a type of user interface that allows users to interact with electronic devices through graphical icons and visual indicators. The GUI is familiar to most of us today in either the Mac or the Windows operating systems. The computer is made up of different parts and does many works at the same time. So, it requires a manager for it. The manager in a computer is called the operating system. Operating system is an interface between the hardware and user that controls and manages the different parts of a computer system. There are different types of operating systems. Some of the popular operating systems are Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, Unix, Linux, etc. Microsoft Windows It is the most popular software in the world. It is made by the company called Microsoft Corporation. When we switch on the computer, Windows starts automatically. MS Windows has many versions like Windows XP, Windows 7 and Windows 10 etc. Example, you place your books and pencils on your desk to start working. Similarly, Windows places icons and toolbars on its desktop. So, desktop is the work area in Windows. Most users prefer to use Windows operating system in their computer systems because of its features. It is very easy to use. You do not have to learn any command. It has small labeled pictures called icons. Just by clicking on the icons using mouse pointer, you can perform different tasks. Programs are arranged in folders. Menus and submenus help in performing various tasks without having to learn any command. The Windows Desktop When we switch on our computer, Windows operating system is automatically loaded and the following screen appears. This screen is called the Windows Desktop. The desktop is the work area on which the objects like icons, menus, windows and dialog boxes appear. We can also add shortcuts on the desktop for files and folders that we frequently use. The desktop of one computer may look different from that of another computer according to its setting. But a desktop will always have some common objects like icons, taskbar and start button. No more. William Henry Bill Gates is the chairman of the Microsoft company. He developed the first version of Windows GUI for MS-DOS in 1983. Icons Icons are the small pictures on the Windows desktop. They represent the files, folders or programs. Each icon has some description that tells us something about it. To open any program, just double click on the icon. To move any icon, just use drag and drop method with the help of mouse. The most common icons on the desktop are A. Username or folder B. This PC C. Network D. Recycle Bin E. Microsoft Edge Selecting or deselecting an icon Selecting the icon To select any icon, simply click on it. It will be highlighted. Deselecting the icon To deselect the icon, click away from the icon. The icon will now be displayed in its original form. Some common icons Username or folder 
This icon represents a folder where we can save our files in the categories of documents, music, pictures, videos, etc. And if we do not specify the special location of any file that we wish to save, it automatically gets saved in this folder. This PC. This PC icon displays everything about your own computer. It shows the storage devices and stored items. It helps us in storing and finding our specific storage devices. Recycle bin. This icon represents a folder where all the deleted files are stored. We can easily restore them if they are deleted accidentally. Microsoft Edge. This icon is used to connect to the internet. This new browser built for all the things you do online. Network. This icon represents a directory that gives information about other computers connected in network. We can share the resources of computers connected to the network. Taskbar. Taskbar is the horizontal bar that appears at the bottom of the screen. It displays some icons and information. Start button. The start button is found on the left side of the taskbar. When you click on the start button, a menu appears which is known as start menu. We can find and open all the programs through all apps option from the start menu. Quick launch bar. It lies next to the windows button. The quick launch bar has icons of some programs that we use frequently. To open these programs, we need just one click. Remember, to open programs from desktop, we need to click twice. The size of the quick launch bar may be increased or decreased. Program tabs. Beside the quick launch bar, we can see the tab showing the name of the programs that are open. System tray. The system tray is used to show the date and time. The other icons displayed in this location are volume control icon, antivirus, etc. You can change date, time, volume from this location. Shortcut menus. Using shortcut menus, you can quickly edit an object or data by choosing commands directly from a shortcut menu. To display a shortcut menu, right click on an object or an area to see a list of commands.